your confidence to a resurrection. Are, are we hearing that? Yeah. Can, can, can you hear that? Yeah. You are the sons of God by faith in Jesus Christ. For as many of you have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male or female. There you go. For you are all one in Christ. For you are all one in Christ. For you are all one in Christ. And, you, and, and, and Sister Marco, when you begin to walk in the practice of this, when you begin to walk in the principle of this, when you begin to walk in the fruit of this, when we begin as a people, I'm talking, and I'm not dealing with race, I'm dealing with a people, a born again mind people. When we begin to, 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 to walk in this, then you will see the power of God change the environment. It ain't going to change because you want it. Come on here. Because see, we don't be like, like we don't want to like, I get a dark glass, a dark glass, like you barely can't see what's going on. But the word of God should be a looking glass. We should be able to see the reflection, what we look like. And then we know what everybody else can see if you see you. Are you following what I'm saying? See, see, that's why uh, uh, Peter and James were able to tell the man that was laying at, at the gate of beautiful. They, now, this was real powerful. Y'all, some of y'all been with me for years. They haven't said this before. He said, look on us. He said, silver and gold, how we not? But look on us. Man, that's powerful. Because somebody could look at you and see flesh. But, but what was he doing when he told the, the man at, at, uh, 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 at the gate of beautiful who was begging arms? He said, silver and gold, how we not? But such as we have. Such as we have. This anointing we have. What we you want something for exterior, but we're trying to get you something for interior. We're trying to get you. We don't want to cripple you. We don't want to put no training wheels on you and, and let you roll away from this place. We want you to rise in your thinking. We, we want we want to make this deposit on the is anybody hearing this? Let's yeah. close out. Yeah. Did you put a car around yet? Get about go get my car until I keep teaching. Keep, 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 keep going, but you, you, you need to understand, you need to understand what's happening. You need to understand this. He said, seven gold, how we done. Come on. But such as we have. Such as we have. Hallelujah. The best thing everybody anybody ever gave me was wisdom. Come on, a divine man. word from God. You'd be surprised what a divine word from God would you be surprised hearing God in the right time hearing God in the right moment hearing for a prophetic word that would change the course of your life hearing a word that would change your atmosphere hearing a word that will cause you to relocate come on now see come on come on because you can't buy that baby let me tell you something I would take a million dollars for the voice of God Come on now. <laughs> because see, money can devaluate, but not the word. He said, heaven and earth will pass away. But my word. Come on, my word goes down. Even if you don't believe it. Huh. Come on. Even the people you talk to don't believe you heard from God. Just because you don't believe it, don't mean it wasn't said. Huh. Come on, is, is anybody hearing this here? Just because you, well, I don't see no, you ain't got to see a sign. If you could hear it, you don't need a sign. I had my navigation system on and, and he was giving me false direction. <laughs> but my spirit said, don't obey that, obey me. Right. And by finding the voice of God, he had overrode the navigation system because he kept telling me to turn too early. He was trying to send me a long way. Yeah. But the voice of God shot the destiny Same. this morning. <laughs> I mean, he's shot the desk. He's shot the desk. See, here it does yes, save time. Yes, it does. Save all the red thing. Oh, I thought it was. But anyway, the seven gold, I have none. The scriptures I have, I give them to rise up and walk. Yeah. There, there, there come a time you gotta, you got to want something for your inner man. Hello. There come a time, come on here, because see, you can be treating yourself too, too naturally and starving spiritually. And not realizing what's going to count, and what's going to take you to another level is that that's within you. Are you following? Sometimes, Sister Linda, 
What you think you need, you don't need. Come on. Sometimes you need to go back and rehearse what God said. Hello. Is anybody hearing this here? I, 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 I remember, I, I remember when, when David was getting ready to fight Goliath, and I, I'm not going to get into that, but, 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 but he had to rehearse some victories. Ooh, glory. Come on here. When, when he looked at his opponent, and his opponent was bigger than him. What do you have, what do, what's, what's looking bigger than you? That's not. Why are you exalting that thing and making that thing look bigger than you when it's not? You ain't heard nothing I say. You ain't. I, I, I'm trying to get to my word, but I, I, if I can filter through, if you can put up with me filtering through this, that part. Huh? Is anybody hearing this? Yes, sir. Come on here. Anybody, anybody hear what I'm saying? Huh? David had to have a rehearsal with himself. Sometimes when God begin to send you somewhere and, 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 and it towards something that you never faced before. David never fought a giant. Come on here. See, the, the, this spirit was intimidating everybody in the land. It was known to, to behead people. It was known to kill people. Come on here. David was called from the backfield of life. Come on here. I know about it. Somebody say, I know about it. A man that was quepping kept in quarantine, and the man that was kept in a cave. Mm -hmm. Come on here. Man that, that, that did all the background ministry. Yeah. All the backgrounds. A no-name person. Yeah. You hear nothing up here. Is anybody hearing this? Yeah. Nobody knew David. Who David? Who David? Yeah. Come on here. But David began to rehearse some things within his spirit. He said, he, first of all, he wanted to know, who is this uncircumcised Philistine Come on, that's David. trying to intimidate the army of the Lord mm -hmm. while they was acting weak? Exactly. He was trying to remind him, you know I'm the Lord, and y'all scared me. With your good looking self. Saw him with his, with his hair from self, but it was scary. What, what is that all about? You're looking good, but you're scared. David didn't understand that. Come on. David wasn't even invited. David was even invite, invited to fight the fight. You hear nothing I said. He, he, they kept him in the backfield. Come on, come on here. Huh? But David invited himself to the fight. Come on. <laughs> when you get sick and tired of something, come on, you can invite yourself to the fight. And you're going to rise to the occasion. Come on here. Right. He, said, he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Come on now. Defiling the armies of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he began to say what he would do to this thing. Mm -hmm. To this spirit. Yeah. Come on here. He, he prophesied to himself. Amen. Mm -hmm. Said what he was going to do. Yeah. And did what he said. Yeah. Come on here. Said what he was going to do. And did what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Went to Goliath. But before he went to him, I remember him rehearsing some victories. He said, yeah. he said I remember the lion. And I remember the bear. Ah, Come on here. He said, I, re I remember whooping the lion. Huh? Tore his head off. I remember whooping the bear. Huh? And he said, you uncircumcised Philistine, I'm going to take your head. In other words, I'm going to take the head of symbolic of government. I'm going to yeah. take off your authority. Yeah. Well, you don't rule no more. Yeah. I, 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 I'm going to disable you. Yeah. I'm going to disarm you. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Share with me the spirit. I haven't got to the message yet. I ain't got to admit, should I leave? No. Should I leave right now? Or should we, should we continue? continue? David said, this uncircumcised Philistine, I'm going to take your head. Come on. You you'd be surprised what you can do that you've never done. When you make up in your mind, you can do it. Amen. You hear nothing I just said. Amen. David had never Amen. took on a giant. Sometimes, the, sometimes the vision that God has given you look like a giant, Amen. and the vision He gave you sometimes look like an enemy. But the very thing, come on here, that look like you can't take it, and if oh, it's gonna take overtake you, is the very thing God's gonna use to raise your name up, to exalt your name. Amen. The very thing that's about to bury you. That's the thing that God's going to use. The thing that you don't think you got a grip on. The thing that you think you can't handle. Somebody better hear me today. You better hear me today. Uh, 
I got you. God got your word today. Come on here. Come on. God got your word. God know who we're dealing with. He know who gave the sign with me. With. Nobody knew David. He was a nobody. Come on. You had all them front liners up there. Thought they were, thought they were gonna take on Goliath. They oh, looked at the oh Jesus. They got fearful. You took a man in the backfield. Come on here. Took a man in the backfield. A man that wasn't even supposed to be in the battle. He took something that was close to him. Not for all. It was something around him. Get your five smooth stones. Five smooth stones. God, no, you, you don't throw rock to the giant. Baby, you crazy? Off. You don't go <laughs> right there. Do you understand? You get better. You get better. In fact, the baddest dude in the land was Goliath. At that time, Goliath was the was the baddest dude in the land. Undefeated, undefeated champ. Whoop everything that came in his way. Come on now. But David made up in his mind. David, David made up in his mind. Your rule is over. You'd be surprised what you can stop when you begin to doubt that, that that rule is over. You will not have dominion. You will not have a authority over me. Thank you. Yes, yes, Spirit, you will yes. not terrify yes. my house. You will not terrify my life. Yes. You will not. You will not terrify me with them giants of my past, the, the, the giants of my mistakes, yes. the giants of my failures. Yes. Come on now. Yes, Lord. You will not destroy me with the giants of of of, 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 of lack of finances. With, the, with that giant of, of sickness, of illness, with that giant of, of confusion in the relationship, with that giant of, of being hurt from your past, from a kid, with that giant where nobody wants to forgive you of your past. Come on now. You're not even that person no more, and people still labeling you what you did 10 years ago because they, they want to let it go. You may have been wrong. Oh, but it's something about the mercies of God. Yeah. Oh, baby, let me tell you. You better go get you a mercy bag. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And don't become bitter if nobody yeah. don't forgive you. Don't become bitter. Come on now. Come back. Yeah. There's a life. There is a life to live beyond your mistake. Yes, yeah. You hear nothing. Is anybody hearing this? Yeah. There's a life to live beyond failure. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing this, though? Are you hearing me, son? Don't stop at the stop. Come on. Sometimes we stop and we just will be yielding. Yeah. And just letting that little bit pass, then keep moving. Don't tend to yield sign into a stop sign. Is anybody hearing this? Yet? Come on here. Is anybody hearing this? Yet? Come on here. Are you hearing this? Yes. Are you hearing? You'll get that later, son. You stay focused. Is anybody hearing this here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And David took something impossible to do something impossible. To do something impossible. He took five smooth stones. F-A-I-T-H. And threw them at his opponent. Busted his mind up. Hit him in the forehead. Like a man he was talking the whole time he was throwing it. Your rule is over. Come on. Are you hearing what I'm saying? See, you think you ain't got what it takes. You look at it in the wrong places for the right thing. You get that in the morning. Did anybody hear what I'm saying? Y'all hear what I just said? Yes, Come on here. Huh? Sometimes you're looking far off and the thing is it's right at your feet. All you got to do is reach down. And something about when God breathed on, on the simple thing. Come you, hear on, you hear what I'm saying? Sometimes God will breathe on the simple thing. Come on here. Is anybody hearing this? Come on here. It's something about God when he, when he, when, when he breathes on nothing and makes it something. Come on here. Come on here. Every time you talk about the lie, you got you to talk about them five smooth stones. Come on now. Something simple. Something that look like nothing. Is anybody hearing this? Yes. Is anybody hearing this? Yes. And the Bible says he struck him in the forehead and then took his weapon and beheaded him. Hello. Took what he had in his heart. Come on. Yes. He didn't know he was packing. Come on, his, his own execution. 
Come on now. Wow. Come on, Goliath. He, he just had to have a man like David to disarm him. Hello. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is your season where you will invade the enemy's camp. Yes. Amen. Amen. This is the season where you will pursue and take off. Yes. Come on here. See, see, that's why you can't be governed by sight. Because God will send you in all places to do great things. I knew you heard nothing I just said. I say God will send you in all places to do great things. But I just say, He will send you to all places, places to do great things. Thank you, Lord. Are you following what I'm saying? God don't make no mistake. You may look at what the world, what the world is this? Wait a minute, God, you you gave me a vision. What? What is this? You, you ever had a what is this moment with God? Yes. Now wait a minute, God and prayed and fast and everything else, and, and and I start this thing with cold black hair. Come on in, and now the hair is changing, and and, and 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 we're right here. God said, "You're right in the timing of God." So come on now, see you're right in the timing of God. Come on here. See, it wasn't that the thing wasn't ready; you wasn't ready. Yeah. And so God takes you, right. you through the process of isolation, for revelation, for manifestation. Right. You heard that? I just said, I'm oh, teaching man. better than you. I'm teaching better than you responded. Right. Did you just hear what I said? Right. Come on here. Whenever God begins to want to bring change in your life, he's going to take you from isolation to revelation to manifestation. Right. And I want to use for a prophetic word, from isolation to greatness. From isolation to greatness. Come on. Hallelujah. Your seed got to be buried. Come on. That's a process of greatness. Come on here. Isolation ain't the devil's moment. That's incubation for greatness. As if you you ain't heard nothing I say. Let me tell you something. If, if God going to expose you, he going to hide you first. Oh. Is anybody hearing this? Come on here. Come on, before you can have a popular season, you gotta have a private season. Oh. You don't wanna hear me. And, and, and so you think your delay is the devil. It ain't got nothing to do with the devil. It's, it's a time to be a moment. Come on here. God, see, the anointing is the anointing, whether you in it or not. The anointing gonna work whether you work it or not. But 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 it takes character. You hear that nice? A prophet said something. She was talking to somebody in the car this morning, and she said, "You don't want to have a, 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 a more gift than you got character." Come on, man. Has to balance out. Is anybody here? This here. Yes. So God takes you to private school. Come on, when God gonna use, He gonna hide you first. Amen. Sometimes, that, sometimes people try to get, uh, be exposed. Come on, too quick. See that, that's what happened to Ephraim. If you read, go study Ephraim. Come, <coughs> the Bible said Ephraim was like a cake on dollar. I don't know about you. Let me run this right to you. But I got your words. And don't rush me. And if you do, just pull my car off. I'll leave. Should, should I leave now? Should we, should, should we pack up? Huh? Are y'all with me? You with me, Linda? You gonna hang in there? Did anybody you. stand up and shake, shake yourself? Because I got your word today. I promise you there should be a performance of faith. Amen. I promise you signs one that's going to follow me. Go that receive. Go that receive. Go to seek and tie to be and seek and tie. Go. Go. There's a momentum in God that you got to catch up with. There's a momentum in God. There's a rhythm in God. Can you hear nothing I say? The Bible talks about in the book of Chronicles, there were men that could keep rank in walk time. You hear nothing I say? When he get in your spirit, I know I used to be in the marching man show band when I was when I was young, and, and show band is the band that dance and play at the same time. Yeah, that you could have to play and, and dance too, just as good. They called it the uh, eight to five band, show band, like rambling. That's the kind of band I came from, and you and you had to be on point. And I'm talking, about, it was so bad, and and, and, and and to be a part of that band, it was early rising, like five in the morning. You in school five in the morning, and I already got seven classes to go to with that. Then after school, you practice. Yep. And, and you were so in tune, you were so in tune, let me tell you something, you had to be so in tune, to, I'm talking in your daily walk, when you're walking down the hall, you'd be skipping like this to get on step. Cause, cause, cause it, it became a lot, you'd be in the mall, be, you know, it was somebody, It was in your spirit, because it was, you were trained to keep right, you were trained to walk up to God right, you were trained, and, see, see, a lot of times people think it's like looking straight, no, you have to be able.
able to play your music and, and God right. That means God on your right man. Looking straight, but God and right. right. You hear right. nothing I'm saying? Yeah. Come on. See, that's the same when the rabbit is clear. You got to be able to look straight, but still God and right. Yeah. On, from the right side of God. Yeah. You hear nothing I'm saying? Come on. If you can't use it, just leave it in your seat. I get it. I ain't forcing nobody. Come on here and help me. It, it's helped me 62 years. Come on here. Of hearing the voice of God. From isolation to greatness. Someone said, from isolation to greatness. From isolation to greatness. You ain't having a devil moment, you're having a God moment. Amen. Come on here. God's cleaning you up for greatness. Yes, he is. Come on here. Is anybody here in this area? Go go over, go over to first Samuel. Uh, are y'all with me? Yes. Y'all gonna teach with me today? Y'all with me? First Samuel, the twenty-second chapter. Y'all there? Let me know when you're there. First Samuel, the twenty-second chapter, verse one. If you're there, say amen. David departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And when his brother and all his father's house heard it, they went down to him there. Some said they went down to him there. They went down to him there. There gathered to him everyone that was in, in distress. Are y'all seeing that? Yes, sir. And everyone that was what? In debt. And everyone that was discontent. My God. Do y'all see that? Yes, sir. So he came, so he became the captain over them. Now there were about of uh, there were with him about 400 men that was in debt, distressed, and discontent. And this was after God had told uh, David that he was going to be king. But David found himself not on the throne, but in the cave of Adullam. Now, now when you look up the word cave of Adullam, it means place of the squeeze. <laughs> you hear nothing I see? God, so God... Uh, David, David kills Goliath and God sent him to the cave. I, 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 I don't want, because the, the, at, at, when he killed Goliath, they talked about the 10,000 that he killed and they talked about the less that Saul killed. And, 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 and so God wanted to make sure David wouldn't get polluted. So, so, he, so, so, so he didn't send him to the throne even though it was prophesied. He sent him to the, to the cave. Of a double place of the squeeze, and then not only that, when he sent him to the place of the squeeze, he sent men that was in debt, distressed, and discontent. What the world I'm gonna do with this? Is anybody here? This yes. come here. But the Bible says these were men. Come on here, of valor. These were mighty men. These were warriors. Is anybody here? What I'm saying? Yes. Come on. God don't make no mistake. Come on. So he sends him. Let me finish this. So he sends him to the cave of Adullam. Uh, then David went from there to Mithrach, uh, to Moab, and, and he said to, to the king of Moab, please let my father and my mother come forth and be with you until I know what God will do for me. Come on here. He said, I, I'm waiting on some manifestation. He brought them before the king of Moab, and they lived with him all the while that David was in the stronghold. Place of the squeeze. Place of making. Place of development. Place of purpose. This is the place where God works on your character for greatness. Anybody hear this? Yeah. Come on here. See, a gift you get in the, a gift will get you in the door, but it's your character that's going to keep you. Keep the door open. And then, then the prophet Gad said to David, do not remain in the stronghold. Hmm. See, you got to know how to go to the hiding place and you got to know when to come out. Is anybody here in this here? Come on. You got to know when to come and you got to know when to go. My grandmother used to, used to always tell me that, that, that when you're visiting, know when to come. But also, it's better you go on your own than ask to leave. 
Don't wear out your welcome. The prophet Gad said to David, do not remain in the stronghold. Go to the, go to the land of Judah. Judah means praise. But, 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 what's it? But before you go there, I need you in the hole. I need you in the place of the squeeze. There's some things I want to squeeze out of you. It's some things that you can't take to the next level. It's some things that got to come up mission. Is anybody hearing this here? Come on here. Come on here. See, it's not all about getting there, but, 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 but like I tell you all the time, the person that receives the prophecy is not the same one that's going to walk in the manifestation of the prophecy. When, when, when David heard this word, come on here, he was in the place of the squeeze. He was in the place, he was dealing with men that were in debt, distressed, and discontent. See, however you came to this work, however you came to this ministry, however you came into the kingdom, come on here. What's about to happen? You I don't care how you arrived here. I don't care how you met me. I don't care how you came to the Lord. But but let me tell you something. There's a change already at hand. Yes. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. Come on. You, you, I, I, I don't care how they label you. I, I don't care what your resume say. Come on here. I'm telling you, there is a word greater than your mistake. There is a word greater than your failure. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and what God blessed, can no man curse. Amen. Is anybody hearing this here? Yes. Is anybody here? Are you yes. hearing what I'm saying? Yes. What God could not, circumstance can't change what God said. Yes. And, and, and you ain't got to see it for it all to be there. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying, Sister Lord? Come on here. He said you go from faith to faith. Faith is a word, faith is a knowledge. God said, when you get this knowledge, then I give you some more knowledge. Mm -hmm. I, I, give you, I give you the rest of the recipe you. to your destiny. I give you the next step mm -hmm. to your destiny. Is anybody here this evening? Yes, sir. See, let me tell you something. Everything that, everything that God gives a man to do is like a world assignment. It's something that's go, it's something that's gonna affect something. What God has given you is something that's not gonna just uh, affect you, but it's gonna uh, 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 affect or affect someone else. Yeah, yeah. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. What what God has given you is not just for you. What God is equipping you with, uh, it, it may be just be one sinner that caused somebody to move to the next level because you was in your place. Are we hearing this here? Yes. Uh huh. Are we hearing this here? Yes, sir. God's about to do something great. I say, God's about to do something, do something great. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Come on. Does God don't make no mistakes. Can you imagine how, how David felt? He just killed big old Goliath and God said, now I need you to go high. I need you to come off. No, no, you still ain't ready. Because you know, we get moments and we think, well, oh, it's just on now. Everybody knew who Goliath was. I took him down. And God said, now no, I need you to hide yourself. I need you to finish making it. Don't print up no, no cards. Don't get no website going. I need you to come off social media. Chat. I need you to come off chat. I need you to come off all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I need you with me. Right now. I need you to kick you back. I need you to hide yourself. There's always a hiding place in God's sin when, when He's going to expose you. God knows where your address is. Come on here. You, you ain't got to have no commercials. I, I, I promise you, He knows where you are. You don't need everybody. You just need the right body. Yeah. You don't need everybody. You just need the right body. Right. What if I told you you're just one person away? Yes. Yeah. 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 I said, Go get my car. I said, you're just one person away. See, see we're looking for all of that. And, and you don't need all of that. You hear nothing I said. You're just one person Come on. You got you, when someone let me tell you, the most important person in your life is the person that speaks to your potential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I be hearing people and I don't hear them. I ain't trying to hear none of that. I'm talking to your potential. 
Just stand there while I talk to you with attention because you ain't here. Let me talk to you with attention. Because it's going to save your life. See what I'm saying? I'm not talking. You do it now. I hear nothing you're saying. I'm going to talk to your attention. Put your potential on the phone. And you get off. <laughs> I'm anointed to talk to your attention. In the midst of your mishap. In the midst of your mistake. Amen. Yeah, nothing I say. Are you, are you, are you, Mr. Yeah. you need someone going to talk. Come on here. There come a time you got to put up your excuse. Yep. There, there come people are anointed to talk beyond your fault. People are anointed to speak directly into your life and tell you what thus say the Lord. Are you following what I'm saying? But you, I'm not trying to understand what you're talking about because it, your understanding didn't work for you. Why do you want me to? <laughs> you trying to make me understand what you don't understand. So let's put your understanding up. Hear thus, say the Lord. Hear the wisdom of God. Get to the cave of a double. Get to the place of the squeeze. Get to the place of discipline. Okay. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Come on. Let me get this nonsense out of you, David. Let me get this nonsense out of you. That ain't the ultimate. David, that ain't the ultimate. See, when God trying to send you somewhere, come on here. You can you can be falling chickens when you're eagle. Alright. You can be walking on ground level when God trying to teach you to fly. Yeah. Thank trying to you. teach you to soar. Yeah. Glory. Is anybody here in this here? Yes. Come on here. Yes, come on. yes Father. See, see, when those men, uh, Anthony, was in the cave of Adullam, they were in that distress and discontent. That was their circumstance. That wasn't their potential. Come on here. See, but, but see, God and Carpenter, it was a fact, but it wasn't the truth. It was a fact. It was a fact. It was part of their resume. But, it, but, 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 but God called them. God, your Bible may say they were men that had been valorized. Yes. They had been valorized and deputized by God for greatness. Thank you, Lord. And you have to be in the realm of the Spirit. He said, David, I know what I'm sending you. Yes. Come on. You'd be surprised. But see, David had to be carried to the seven of the Lord. And David had to speak over that congregation yes. that looked like nothing. But then were warriors. Then yes. were men that took out people. Then were men that, that overthrow kingdoms. You'd be surprised what you can do when you follow leadership. Amen. You'd be surprised what you can do when you come under authority. Amen. Well, you know, I, I wouldn't go there. I would. Well, well, that's why you're not there because you don't belong there. Hello. See, sometimes people want to be in the popular place, but the popular place might not be the powerful place. Uh, what you want to be popular or powerful? Well, I need you to get to the cave. I, I, I need yeah, you to come off yeah. the scene. Come on, that I can bring you on the scene right. the right way. Yeah. Send me to the cave. Is anybody here in this yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you when to exit. Yeah. I'll tell you when to go. Thank you, Lord. Is anybody here in this here? Hallelujah. Is anybody here in this From isolation to revelation. Yes, Lord. It's in that place. It's in that place. It's in that place. Come on. We, we, we've been in this uh, prophetic isolation. We've been in this prophetic isol isolation. But, but, but a lot of folks ain't really seeing what God's been doing. God slowed everything down that you could catch up with what he's doing. He slowed everything down where you could catch up with what he was doing. I'm talking about world. I'm talking about world out there. If, if you caught yourself, when you're going to run, you're going to run into isolation. When you run into it's worldwide. God said, I'm going to shed everything down oh, and show you that I'm king to king and lord to lord. Hey. God's still God. Yes, Everybody ain't going under. No. Amen. I, I, I'm, I'm going to show you another side of yourself in this isolation time. Yeah. I'm going to show you another side of it. I'm going to let you get to know you. Some of you don't know you. Like I said, when you begin to know you, when you begin to know the God in you, when you, when you know why you were born, why you living, why you still here, why you ain't among the number that died from COVID? Come on now. Why did you survive? Yes. Why are you still here? Yes. Mm. Mm. You ever thought about that? Mm. That, yeah. you, that you didn't make that number? Come on. God left your life to give life? Yes. God, God, God let your life. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's trying to take you to another level because this is a season where, where he going to use you. 
You're not in a defeated season. You're not in the defeated season of your life. Amen. Come on here. God has brought you into a brand new moment oh, to do a new thing. All right. Amen. To do something that has been done. He said, I have not seen, ear have not heard what God thought to do. If God can trust you in famine time, come on here. He can trust you. If God can trust you at the zero factor, if he can trust you with nothing, he can trust you with something. But if you, if you fall apart at the nothing state, at the zero, he can. God's shaking your language out. He's shaking. Who, who's talking right? Who's, who's still prophesying? Who's still speaking? Come on. Who, who's still calling me Lord? Who, who, come on. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. In the midst of hell, he said, the Lord is my shepherd. You need to know when he said that. The Lord is my shepherd. Can you imagine the Lord is my shepherd? I shall not want David trying, and uh, 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 Saul trying to kill you. But he said, the Lord is my shepherd. No, the Lord is. What? He said, yeah, God, I walked through the valley of the shadow of death. He called it the shadow. He said, it's a shadow. shadow. Come on. It's just a shadow. Come on here. 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 Someone said, this two years past, it may have passed. You are the deciding factor. Someone said, you are the deciding factor. I am the deciding factor. You are the son of God, come on, that has to speak to the system, speak to the atmosphere, yes. speak to principalities and powers of the airway. Amen. Huh? Come on here. Didn't he say he was God on the airway? Yes. Come on here. If you're dealing with an invisible virus, but but you got a you got a God from the from the unseen world. Hey, hey. Come on, God. You got a God from the unseen world. Listen to God, but God seen it before you did. Amen. But even principalities and powers of darkness must bow to the name of Jesus. Hello. Come on here. You have hope. I said, you have hope. Are y'all hearing this here? You have hope. You have hope. Are you hearing this here? I said, you have hope. It is not the end. You the one that God's going to use to turn everything around. Yes, amen. Come on here. Thank you, Lord. Everything you need to do, what you need to do, is on the inside of you. Amen. Someone say, it's on the inside of you. It's on the inside of you. Someone say, it's on the inside of you. It's on the inside of me. It's on the inside of you. God, God has already equipped you with everything you need to do what he needs you to do. He's already equipped you. And, but see, you got to remember that beyond the seat you sit in. You got to remember that in your daily life. Yeah. Come on here. Because circumstances don't stop. It don't stop. It don't stop. It don't stop because you're tired. It don't stop because you reach a place where you don't know what to do. That's what God mind is for. You need God in circumstance. See, you're trying to figure something that's been figured. See, that's your problem. You, you're trying to figure what's been figured. <laughs> two and two is two. It's already fixed. Stop trying to figure that out. That's what it is. Deal with it. Yeah. So, you know, sure how you try to figure, try to figure something out? Because I don't need you to figure nothing. I, 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 I need you to respond to your greatness. I need you to respond in, in this area of your life as a son. Hallelujah. As a son of God, I need you to prophesy. I need you to speak to creation. I need you to speak to that marriage. I need you to speak to your body. I need you to speak to your mind. I need you to speak to your kids. Amen. See, we're using our mouth for the wrong thing. Come on here. Are you following what I'm saying? The word works. You respond to, to what you talk about. You, you feel like what you talk about. Come on now. And you feel like the way you talk about it. Anybody? Are you here with that? Y'all hear this? Yes. Huh? Come on. And David had to see them in there in that distress and discontent. He had to see his own man that that, that was circumstance. He had to see them. He had to see them as mighty warriors. Come on. Here. See, it's something about when God shines His anointing on you. 
It ain't about what you bring to the table. It's what he had at the table when you came. That you oh, gotta recognize. Yeah. You ain't written that nothing. Yeah. They had to see, come on, come on in. They had to see that cave like a palace. Yeah. Come on. That David had to see himself at, at the throne, at the throne. Come on, even in the cave, he had to see the throne. See, you gotta see, let yourself see beyond where you are, in spite of what it looked like. Amen. Hello. Amen. That's not permanent. That's process. Ah. I said, it's not permanent, it's process. What you're dealing with is not permanent, it's called process. Wow. Just hang in there, God's going to process you out. Yes, yes, yes. Camera man, I think you need to buy the camera. You hear what I'm saying? God keep you in the fire until you process out. Until you get the revelation. Come on here. He ain't waiting on God. God waiting on you. Hello. He said all things are possible to them that believe. When you gonna believe? Some people just go through and they still don't believe. When you believe, you get that's when you get ready to exit. When you start believing. Glory. I'm talking about believing to the saving of your soul. Believe until you can't doubt it. Believe it, I'm talking to you, you got a peace about it. I'm, I'm telling you, it may look crazy coming in the physical, but it make a lot of sense in the spiritual. Come on now. And you wonder why you weren't invited to this, invited to that, because God didn't want you around that. Huh? Amen. Before God put David on the throne, he put him in the cave. Life coming on. Think about the devil. The devil ain't been by your house in years. Hello. It's about process. You call it the devil because it's working against your flesh. You call it the devil because it's a place of discipline. It's, it's a place where God, you ain't having your way no more. Come on. David was in the place of the squeeze. He wasn't having your, his way no more. Come on here. And sometimes God would touch things that we cherish. You uh, yeah. see, what do you love the most? Let me touch this how you're going to act. Let me, yeah. take, let me take your pacifier from you and yeah. say, you see, you're going to whine. Yeah. If you're going to cry for more pacifier, you want meat. You yeah. say, I, I desire to come on here to give you meat. Yes, come on. But yet, I have to yet give you milk. Help us, Jesus. See, I, I, I'm not worried about growing up. I want to grow up. I want to grow up. Oh, How many want to grow up? How many want to grow up? Grow gracefully in this thing. Huh? I don't, I don't want God to visit me. Come on now. I want God to live in me. Amen. I don't want a visitation. I want habitation. Come on, I, I don't want him going in and out. Come on, stay God. I need you. Dwell. Dwell in me. David said, I'm thirsty for God. For living God. I, I, mean, I don't know about you, but I need him in my everything. Yeah. How, how many need him in, in your everything? Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I, need, I don't know about you, Kimber, but, but I need him in some places. I don't need a church God. I don't need a church God. Come on here. I, I need a living God that, that moves with me, walks with me. That I need a God in my daily affairs. When I walk in the thing, I need him in that with me. Come on, I got to recognize that he's in there. Come on here. When I walk in the situation, God is in me with the situation. When I, when I give an answer, I'm going to make an answer from the mind of God within me. I, I'm not talking about God coming out the sky. God, I, God, I, God, I know you're with me. Thank you, Lord. You follow what I'm God, I know you're in this bitch. God, 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 God I, I know this. God, I speak as you. Yay, You follow what I'm saying? Yay, Don't nobody find you with your yesterday. Come on. You remember, remember what? Thank you. Put that out. Don't let people keep you in your yesterday. Come on. Come on here. That old familiar spirit. Yes. Today is a new day. Yes, Someone said today is a new day. Today is a day that it changes. Today is a day that it turns. Today is a day that it stops. Today is the day that it gets better. Today, because today I make a decision. Today I make a decision to put to put the brakes on. Thank you, Lord. 
Do you know you can speak people in your life? You know you can speak people in your life? Come on here. Every, now watch it there. Let me tell you this. Everybody that you're going to meet is already in you. Everybody you're supposed to meet is, everybody you're supposed to come in contact is already in you. You got to speak them forth. Is anybody here in this house? Go to the break of my car. Right here. Uh-huh. Everybody you're supposed to meet is already in you, Sister Linda. Yeah. And sometimes it's shocking when people say, No, I know you. I know you from somewhere. Hello. I don't know. I can't. Because it's in the spirit. They meant you the spirit. Oh, 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 that sounds crazy. No, no, it don't. No, it don't. I've seen places before in, in, in a vision within me. And when I got that, I said, mm, You were sitting right there. You were sitting right there. Mm, and you were right there. And you had on that. I, now, I, I can't put that on nobody. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about me. I, I've been in places where I, I I came to places in this realm for the first time, but in the spiritual, I had already been there. The, the clothes I had on, the person I had on, you were there. I'm talking about, I, all my life. I've seen you before. I've seen you before. Have y'all ever, any of y'all been here a long time and people came here for the first time? I still don't know y'all seen you somewhere. First time, no, I ain't never been. But I seen them. Mm-hmm. Because see, your spirit will summon them. Amen. Come on here. Let me what I see. I see countless with treasures on their back. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Go get my car. I receive I say, I see. Receive that. I receive with treasures on their back. Come on in. Come on in. Let me tell you something. What God's about to to do to you, the economy has to swing your way. You I said, what God's about to do for you, the economy has to swing your way. Come, come on, you, you just look at me up. I said, what God's about to do for you. Some of you may be just retired out there. Come on here. And you, you, baby, let me tell you something. You better not be dependent on a check once Come a month. On, what God's about to do, I'm talking about daily bread. Get ready to come. I'm talking about creativity at another level. And there's some things been birthed the last 12 months. Okay, let, let, me, let me go ahead and throw this out here scripture. I hear God say, tell them every nine months, those that believe going to give birth to something supernatural. Every nine months. Every nine months. Every nine months. I say that the Lord said every nine months you can come from this month, but every nine months you're going to give birth to something supernatural that the world going to go. My God. People right How did you pull that one off? Yes, Lord. Because God is enriching you, impregnating you with spiritual strength. What well, it's going to cause you to give birth. Come on, to, to that creativity. Every nine months, something going to be happening. Yes. Amen. Spiritually, physically, mentally, financially, socially, domestically. Is anybody here in this? Yes, are you in this one go? Yes. Are you in the sister Joe? Yes, Come on here. God ain't believe it the same. Come on. Here. All you need is a word from God. And then when the word is spoken, all you need to do is receive it and believe it and watch it manifest. Amen. I said receive it, believe it, watch it manifest. What I'm saying? Receive it, believe it, watch it manifest. Receive it, believe it, watch it manifest. You ain't hear nothing. Not to go get my car. You ain't hear none of that. Receive it, believe it, watch it, matter of fact. You coming in the season? The things you couldn't do, you will not do. Yes. You coming in the season where God gonna turn turn the table. You ain't hear nothing. I say that. You coming to a season? Come on here. I'm telling you prophetically what God said. After the cave did the throne. After the cave did the throne. After the cave of a dust, after the place of, 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 of the squeeze, yes, then there's the unlimited yes, realm. Yes, 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 yes. You heard that say? You never read about David coming back to the court. Matter of fact, when we read, he said, he said here, and the prophet Gad said to David, do not remain in the stronghold. <laughs> he said, now don't get comfortable it's just in the process. He said, because you're coming out of this squeeze. You're coming out of this cave. I'm talking about verse Samuel 22. Verse 5. Prophet Gad said to David, Go, do not remain in the stronghold. 
Go to the land of Judah. That's a place of praise. That's a place of manifestation. Judah is, 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 is the place where God, where you recognize that God has done it. It's a place of manifestation. It's the place where you can't deny it. Hello. Who am I talking to in here? Right uh, so, see, it's a spirit want want to make you give up. It's a spirit want to make you quit. It's a spirit want to make you stop. It's, it, it's a spirit want to make the, make it to you inadequate. You don't have what it takes. You ain't qualified. But it's about when God valorizes you, it overrides qualification. Yeah. Yeah. It says about when God valorizes you, it overrides qualification. Yeah. It's not about how many degrees you got. It's not about how educated in this realm you are. Not knocking education, but I'm trying to tell you, when God gets ready to move supernaturally, he'll make you look smart. He'll make you look good. Let me tell you something. He'll, he'll set you before PhD, and he'll put the right words in your mouth at the same time, because content is everything. <laughs> Baby saying the right thing at the right time. You can stuff. You ain't heard nothing I said. You can stuff. God so for sure, if you can't talk, he'll give you a hand. Come on now. Come on, Aaron. Come on. Moses couldn't he talk, so but, 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 but that was God's man. Come on. I, I said, Moses, duh, 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 duh. Moses was called to speak to a nation yes. and couldn't talk. Yeah. You hear nothing. He, he could, he could. Uh, duh, 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 duh. He said, I'm going to give you Aaron. Come on in. You're going to hear, but he's going to speak. But whatever God got to do in this season to make you happen, he going to do it. God about to make you happen. Yeah. You ain't hear that? Yeah. I say, God yeah. about to make you happen. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, God, whatever pieces God got to put on the table to go to so the presentation, but the presentation about to go down. What did I just say? I got the presentation that's about to go down. Yes. 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 That shall be a performance of faith. Yes. God shall give you an audience. Yes. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Say God's gonna give you an audience. Say God's gonna give you an audience. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that before. You better hear it now. You better hear it now. Come on here. You better hear it now. Can I can I share something with you? God is not gonna come become a liar because you don't believe. Hello. Right. Hello. Come on here. If you don't believe, he raised somebody up do it that will believe. But the but, but what he said will go down. Ooh. Is anybody hearing this here? Come on here. See, God gives you assignment to make you distinct. Come on. Come on, holy people. Come on, holy. Come on, holy people. The holy don't mean that you're better than nobody. It means it just simply means that you've been separated. Oh. You, you, you're distinct. Yes. You're different. Yeah. Is anybody hear what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Come on, holy people. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not arrogant. I'm just holy. Yeah. I, I mean, I've been handpicked and set apart by God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're holy. Come on, say you're you're separate. Oh, you're distinct. Yeah. Yeah. You're extraordinary. Yes. You're extraordinary. You ain't come on here. You ain't, you ain't Susie on the block. Hello. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You ain't Susie on the block. God made you with a purpose. He made you on purpose. Yeah. Is anybody hearing this? Yeah. Oh, I feel I feel this anointing. Yes. Yes. How many feel this anointing? Yes. <laughs> Come on, King. Yeah. God can't go back on this word, so you can't either, King. He said, I'm King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. But once a king decree a thing, he can't change it. Y'all better get that. Once, once God speak up, that's why Paul told Timothy, Timothy, he said, Timothy, y'all listen now. He said, He said, Timothy, why was the prophecy? That's been spoken over your life. In other words, he, in other words, Paul said, Timothy, when it looked like moments that you can't make it. Timothy, don't quit. I want you to war with the prophecy. You know what I told you? I told you. I told you that a king can't go back on his word. Once a king decree a thing, he can't change it. Anybody hear this? Here? 
So you got to walk with that promise. When it don't look right, walk with it. Come on here. When it look crazy, God just said one thing, but, but the letter in the mail says another thing. Or the phone call says another thing. Don't you believe that? Come on now. Anybody here this evening? He said, I need you to walk with that that's been spoken over your life. Come on, come on, king, king of kings. So when you decree a thing, when you prophesy over a thing, when you prophesy over your, over your life, your daily life, your situation every day, come on here. Then don't you go back Tuesday and change it, try to change the decoration because of the way things look. Now all of a sudden, come on, you get this letter, or you get this phone call from, from a so-called friend or from a family member, and now you want to change it. Well, you know, Linda, uh, anybody's family never did that. And I don't know where you can get the money from that. And you know, you this age. Now, what they got to do with it? I, I, we watched Abraham and, and, and Sarah give birth to something that was sure enough impossible. It was dead. <laughs> that whole situation was dead. Come on. Come on here. But, 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 but watch this here. But Abraham never gave up the prophecy. No, he didn't. Hello. The Bible said he considered not his own body, but he considered the words of God. See, if you don't consider the facts, you'll consider the promise what's being spoken. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I just showed you that last week. The facts were, it was start your spiritual growth. Come on. At, at some point, at some point, you, you got to stand up and say, look here, it is what it is. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dad. You better stand here there for it. Come on. I remember the story. But, but, but David, was, David was, I mean, he was talking good. And Zig Lad, come on in. Why, come on, came back. City was burned up. Wives taken. Everything was crazy. David, David, David didn't consider or, or consult none of the members. He consulted God. He said, God, what shall I do? The Bible said David encouraged himself in the Lord and said, God, what shall I do? And, and at the very worst time in his life, God said, pursue and take off. Thank you, Lord. Does anybody hear this? Yes. Come on. Yes. What you say, God, pursue. pursue. Keep it moving. Don't stop. Yeah. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't turn back. You, you don't qualify to stop. Come on. You don't qualify. You don't qualify to, to, to become corner and walk natural. The Come Bible on. says you walk by faith and not Come by on. sight. Come on now. And, and to walk by faith, to walk by what you heard God say, that's walking by faith. The Bible says, those that are led by the Spirit of God, who are the sons of God? Come on, say, follow the voice of the Spirit. 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 If it's telling you to stop, that is the voice of God. If it's telling you not believe, that is the voice of God. If, if it's yeah. telling you uh, give up, that ain't gonna happen. That is the voice of God. Hello. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But what about this? Well, what, what about what about? Well, what about this? Well, you see this? Well, what about it? Yeah. God ain't broke spiritual or natural that He can't solve your problem. Yeah. Are you following me? Ain't, 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 ain't no shortage in God. He's in you. Yeah. He's in you. You, you know what I, I've been teaching for years? Go within or do without. Hello. Go within yourself. Come on here. And, de and, and demand your higher yourself to make a God decision. Amen. Glory. I mean, I, I, mess, I live from that realm. It, 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 you know, it's something about when you're no no. When you're just, when you're no no, that it's going down. <laughs> when when you're no no, that you're no no. You don't understand what I'm saying. I, I'm not trying to say nothing cute. I'm trying to tell you for the real deal. I'm talking about when you'll know no. When you'll know no. When nothing can deter you from what you heard. Well, here comes the end of the chapter in your book. Did anybody hear this? Hallelujah. Now I wrote this one down for you. Let somebody look at Luke 3 38. I wrote that down for some reason. Uh, Luke 3, 38? Yeah, I think I wrote that down for some Y'all been blessed? Yeah. Y'all been blessed? Yeah. Somebody said, from isolation to greatness. From isolation to greatness. God is preparing me. God is preparing me. Okay, okay. 
that. Luke three thirty eight. Somebody, what, what does that sound like? Somebody read that for me. Which, which was the son of? Oh no, Enos? I don't want that. No, no, that's not what I want. That's good. That, that's important. Okay. I never write that down, but I could. I could if you want to write it down. Okay. So say, I, say I'm a son of God. I'm a son, I'm a son of, God. of God. So I'm gonna make decisions like a son of God. I'm gonna make decisions like a son of God. Not like a bastard. Come on, not like your, not like your father, but like yeah. a son. Yeah. Yes. Come on here. Come on. You John heirs. Come on here. You we're John heirs. Mm -hmm. Sons, hello, sons. We talking about gender. We talking about positioning. God. When, when, when you start making decisions as God in there, God in principle, you be you be surprised. I expect things to happen in my faith. Amen. I, I, I expect things to happen. Amen. I, I speak my atmosphere before I come on the scene. Me and Prophet today, we went and got our, 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 our second dose of uh, uh, of the vaccine. We were able in my mind, we talked to God, and He said, Do it. So we went down. Feeling good, kicking, feeling good. But we prayed for we got over our bodies. We prayed, No steps, there was no nothing. Prayed the line would move. I'm talking about we went in there no time. 15 minutes, we gone. But I speak my atmosphere. I speak my atmosphere. See, you gotta speak your atmosphere. And then you gotta inspect what you expect. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you got to, what are you saying? What, what, what are you sending out before you walk in? Before you leave your house, is your atmosphere set? I'm talking to somebody now. Is your atmosphere set? See, that time with God ought to, that ought to produce something in you. When, when, when you come out that out, out that squeeze place, that, that tight place, that stronghold, you ought to be ready. I remember when I was a little boy, I remember Superman. He would have a regular clothes, you know, just like an old coming old man. And, and then all of a sudden, you know, uh, adversity hit, he'll run to the phone booth. <laughs> and then he, 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 he left man and became Superman. He went to the place of the squeeze. Yes, yes, yes. You were here now. I said, I, I, I know. Okay, all right, all right. Don't worry about you trying to get the phone. Huh? Come on. He, he, he does a rally eight to five man, but when the adversity hit, he didn't go towards the rest. He went in that private place, place of the squeeze. And then when he came out, he became Superman, able to lead tall business at a single bound. Doing stuff. Come on in that normal man couldn't do. You'd be surprised when you get in that, that sacred place. That, that, come on, that, that intimate place with God. Hi, when you come out, you will hear that nothing. Go get my call. Sometimes you can have too much earth trying to do heavenly things, and you got too much earth in you. Got too much humanity in you. I don't know about you. Something I got to shut it down. I don't know about nobody else. Come on, no. Some people, yeah. I need, and then some people, I, I let my phone ring because I ain't trying to talk to you. I already know where you at. We ain't answering your call. Anybody, anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes, come on, come on. Yes, you got, you got to become a number. Yes. Come on, say you got to become a number. I said you got to become. What time we got? You got to become a number. I said you got to become a number. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You, you, nothing change till you change. Amen. In that, in that place, like a dark place. God is loading you down with everything you need. Come on here to do what you need to do. Come on. Come on. And I'm going to tell you something. You can always tell us limited when God's about to promote you because it, it, it gets real lonely. He cut all the visitations out. Come on. Don't, nobody invites you to nothing. Come on. Your phone call the ring. When it ring, you're almost scared. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm the only one walking there, so that's all we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Look, me and you are just talking about that, because they don't know what we're talking about. They probably got a lot of company in oh, no. the book out. Everybody got you booked for the rest of the week. You know, I don't know about you, but I, but you know, you know, you know, when you when you, when you go on for the things of God, man, man your calls gonna get less. Yeah. Family members ain't gonna call you. They gonna see about you. Yeah. I don't know about you, but my, my phone ain't ringing. I almost get scared when I see somebody call for the family. Amen. What is it now? Amen. <laughs> Amen. But sometimes God will separate you. Amen. But greater, He separates you. Everybody can't go with you. Amen. Matter of fact, 
David, watch this here. David didn't choose who was going to follow him in the cave of Adullam. They were sent to him. Hello. David couldn't have, let me tell you something. Let's be real with you. Do you actually think David's a whoop Goliath? He going to go to the cave of Adullam and pick me in that's in debt, distressed, this bed is broke. Distressed and crazy. That's his congregation. Can you imagine the sister, sister Kim to God, okay, I'm going to have a studio, but I'm getting everybody broke in the community to come to you. But, but you got a mortgage on it. You're not too excited about that. Well, God, what? But all the time, that, that, that was all that he needed. If you can do it, it ain't God anyway. Anybody hear this? Yeah, right, right. I, I, I feel I feel the anointing I, I feel the I'm going to give God some praise yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel Thank you Lord God Thank you Lord God I feel the anointing of God Hallelujah See the more This one is here The more you hear God The more you're able to be led by the spirit of God but I just said Now I, I told you this, but I want you to listen. Go to Romans uh, eight fourteen. Somebody read that loud. I know what it's saying, but I want you to read it. The more you hear the voice of God, the more you have it. See, it's hard to be led by the Spirit when you don't know the voice of the Spirit. Are you hear what I'm saying? It's hard to be led by the Spirit when you don't know the voice of the Spirit. Are you following me? In? Are you are you are you, are you hearing me, Sister Kim? Read read that. Romans eight fourteen. Somebody who got Romans 8 14. Well, y'all, what y'all looking at? Romans 8 14. Many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of For God. For as many that are led, but to be led by it, you got to hear it. Mm -hmm. Huh? To be led by the Spirit, you got to be able to, the ability to hear the Spirit. Yeah. Huh? Faith come by what? Hearing and hearing. And the more you hear the Spirit, the more you're going to be able to be led by the Spirit. Because you'll be able to discern what's spirit and what's flesh. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear that? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one I want. Go ahead. Go read the next one, Prophet. Step up here right quick. Now read that. <coughs> now, now for the suffering. Romans 8. Romans 8, 18. Yeah. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Stop. Hello. Did you hear that? Yes. Did we really hear what he yes. just said? No, no, wait, wait. He said, it's not to be compared with the glory in you. With the manifold, wherever there's glory, is connected to manifold, with the manifestation of all the godness. Let's read that again. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not to not to be worthy to be compared with the suffering, with the compared with the I'm sorry with the glory, which shall be revealed in you. Is anybody hearing this? It can be compared. That that little stuff you talking about, you going it can it, that weight of glory on the inside of you. The God that's about to be that that next level of God that's about to be revealed in you. That you that you that that gonna make you go. Wow. Amen. 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 That, that what you were talking about this morning about uh -huh. you know I'm seeing myself. See that's that glory being revealed. I I I feel like you say I, it's some things I stopped that I didn't stop, but I stopped. Yeah. Yes. Uh, did, did, I heard you. There's some things I stopped that I didn't stop. I had the desire, yeah. but I didn't stop it. I knew it wouldn't be to stop it because I wanted it too bad. <laughs> but the stop will stop the stop. But the glory, but the glory that, that shall be revealed. See, that for, for every tribulation, there's a glory. Yeah. For every weakness, there's a glory. Yeah. You, you got to get this. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I don't care. For every sickness, there's a glory. Yeah. Yeah. You better, hear, you better hear what I'm saying. You better hear what I'm saying. I, I, come on, there's the glory that's going to invade. Come on, with, with the enemy trying to attack your body. I want you to rub your body. I want you to wrap your stomach. There's the glory. Come on here. That 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 is a that is an anointing. I, I promise I tell you, there's anointing. That's even as I speak, that's driving out cancer. 
driving out yes. sickness, driving out female problems, driving out high blood pressure. There is an anointing. There's a glory that, that's driving out sinuses and headaches and, and unknown sickness and, and coronavirus and symptoms. And there's a glory. Come on here. Let me tell you, you ain't got time to be sick because God going to use your body. A spirit got to have a body. And why not, why not your body? Why not your body? Why not my body? See, see, watch this here. The man your God in you, does that mean? I can't put it in me. He wants your body. So God will restore your body. What, what the man your God in my wife? I can't have that. That's she gotta have it in her body. Remember, I told y'all before, don't let nobody's testimony become yours. You don't know why they clocked out. You don't know what well, you know, so-and-so clocked out. Okay. I don't that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's their story. Yeah. Is anybody hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Is anybody hearing this? Are you, are you with me, Sister Linda? I hear you, sir. Again, sir. Again, Go ahead. For the earnest expectation of the creature of creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Remember we said that earlier? You remember that? For, for, so, so, what, what did we say? What, what are they waiting for? For the earnest of, of the creature waiting for the sons of God. They're not waiting to go to heaven. They're waiting for the sun. They're waiting for something to happen here. Yeah. You, 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 you got to understand this here. That's why God, watch this here. That's why God put all his self in Jesus. Now all of Jesus is in you. And creation is waiting for the sons of God to step up and take these systems back. No! Did, did not, did not the Bible say that he died for the whole world. Amen. It didn't say he died for the people. He died uh -huh. for the whole world. People, people and systems included. It wasn't just for people. It was for the, the, the whole creation was jacked up. Yeah, Yellow. Yeah, you got me to see that? Yeah. That's what they brought it for. Systems, yeah. look at the systems out of order. There's yeah. the sons yeah. of God. Just, watch this here. I'm not talking about churchy people. You got sons of God everywhere. You got them Hello. in banks. You got them in politics. You got them everywhere. Hello. See, people think this is a political matter, but it ain't. It's a kingdom matter. Yeah. So the word is, for the kingdom of this world is going to become the kingdom of our dear God. So the system of this world is going to become the system of our dear God. Yeah. That's the word of God. Yeah. Go ahead and read it. And because the creature of uh, creation, because the cre creature of creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption. Into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come on now. You got to hear that. See, when the mindset change, everything. God is changing the minds. Yeah. You, see, you see, the mind's changing in the system. Go ahead. Go ahead. Remember, I talked about that because this anointing is going to lift that corruption off this earth, off this creation, yes. and bring it back into the Eden, the state of Eden. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's where it all went down. That's all they was in Eden. Everything was fully planted. Everything. No lack. No need of nothing. And we going back there. You got to have your faith there. You got to be there. Get out of this and go there. Come on, you got to get there. Come on, be right there right now. Hold it down. I mean, stand. Just see your See this thing. Amen. See that deliverer. Don't be selfish. I mean, see people free. I mean, you got you got to see this earth. Can't you see that? Mess with the planet. Mess with the water. Mess with the man. Get man. All this stuff groaning for deliverer. You, you have to be the change you want to see. You can just be wanting something to change. You got to be the change you want to see. You got to be that change. Yes. You, you got to be the change. You can't just sit up and want look at the world. They need to, what, what's your part? What are you doing? You got to be the change. When you get the revelation, when we as a body get the revelation, we're not going to church. We are the church. We are the called out one. You are the, you are the one. Believe it or not. You're the one that God's going to use. You're going to play a big part in this equation. Amen. You'd be surprised how sometimes people can think great of, of somebody else, but yet not think of that of themselves. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Are you following the same? God left you around. He left us around for some reason. For some reason we still. You know how many people clocked out last year, up until this, the last night, and you still breathing? Man, you got hope. I don't know about you. You got hope. I don't know how you looking at this, but you got hope. You ain't part of that total. That in transition, you still here to bring life. I don't know about you. I'm ready to I'm ready to live my best self in every area, spiritually, physically, Amen. mentally, financially, yes. socially, yes. domestically. I'm ready to live my best life with no life with no limits. Yes. Life with no no boundaries. I'm not trying to live life within the margin. Come on now. But life beyond the margin. Abundant life. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I can't go to John 10, 10. He said, John 10, 10, the thief come back to steal, kill, and destroy, but I came that you may have life and that more abundantly. I mean, you know, just think about this here. We can come to a close. You know, when God say life, did he tell me to say life more abundant? You know, when God say life, yeah, I get it. I get it. God say life. I get it. But then he said, life more beyond what you've been living. Yeah. It's more to you. Then you know it's more to you. Yes, yes, it's yes, more to yes, you yes. than the life you've been living. Come on now. You need to turn yourself on Hallelujah. and move beyond the limits. Thank you. You'll be surprised what you can do when you do it. Right. Say that again. Crank up my car. <laughs> You'll be surprised what you can do when you do it. Amen. Anybody here? Yes. yes. Too many people. Of praying for the grave. Yeah. Too many people not talking about the other side. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. So you think God gonna walk up out of here and leave the world like this? No. He's coming to my no baby. Uh-uh. It's supposed to get off their butt, put their butt up, and they put to do something. Amen. In God's behalf. Amen. Amen. Come on here. Ain't no other name gonna sing across the earth greater than God. Say. Are oh, you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You, you, you get ready to see people come out the woodwork. What's she? What's she been? Yeah. Yeah. What she been? Yeah. What was she been? The cave of a yeah. She came out the place of the squeeze. Yeah. Come on now. You ain't hear nothing. I said, Who are you? I'm from the squeeze. I'll be, I'll be running this joint. I'll be saying, I'm from the squeeze. Oh, 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 oh. Are you following what I'm saying? They're going to be wondering, what? Why are these folks coming? Who's this? Who's this people in Forbes magazine? The squeeze. Let's get the car here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, every time I, every time I hear Oprah's, uh, Oprah Ripper's, uh, 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 story, man, I, I just, I get more charged and more charged. A woman that was left in the foyer, one for as a little kid, she couldn't sleep in the house. Come on, dolled out by a family. Somebody, somebody say, place of the. Place of the squeeze. squeeze. But she didn't buy into the story. Come on. People didn't misuse her. Now she's a blessing to them. Hello. See, don't don't count what you go through out. God may use that very story to turn lives around. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying? I yeah. promise what you're walking through, you just ain't walking. You'll tell some woman, some man, some girl, don't you quit? Yeah. You can make it. Yes. Hello. For someone trying to give up, I promise you, I guarantee you, God, I don't know about you, but God will turn your mess into a message. Yes. He'll do it every time. Yes. That that yes. you walk through, daughter, that ain't for nothing. You'll be able to tell some woman that walked this, so don't you quit. That be about yes. to give up. I can't make it. I got this child. I can't make it. And you'll tell how an Uber driver picked you up one day. <laughs> Come on here and help me. And brought you to a place called Vay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you thought you was going home, but he brought you home. Yeah. He brought you where you could meet yourself. Yeah. Meet your God self. You follow what I'm saying? He brought you to your other parents. You follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Sometimes it ain't all about who birthed you in the world, but who, who fathered you in the spirit, who yes. mothered you in the spirit. Yes. Somebody has to take you on. Yes. You hear that? I said, somebody, first, now, in the spirit. Come on now. 
Is anybody here this evening? Yeah. Yeah. Bible said you, 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 you said you said you have many teachers, but not many fathers. Come on now. Who's fathering you? Who's fathering you in the realm of the spirit? Who's fathering you through the word? And I'm not really necessarily dealing with gender. Amen. I'm not really dealing with I'm dealing with spirit. Because that father could be a female. Hello. Uh, taking on the road. It's many. Come on. Come on, female fathers. <laughs> Come on, you hear some of you women can identify some. Of you. Come on in. How I many there have to be both? Oh, yeah. Come on. And, and, and there's some fathers that have to be mother and father. Yeah. Hello. Come on in, sure. Come on, you do. God anoints you to do what you got to do. Yeah. Is anybody here? I said, God anoints you to do what you got to do. Yeah. But whatever you do, let me say this. If you don't qualify to quit. Amen. You don't qualify to give up. Amen. I promise you that shall be a performance of, of faith from this word today. Come on here. Because God is moving you from the cave to greatness. He's moving you from the cave to the throne, from the cave to the palace. Do you follow what I'm saying? Yes. What you've been through has not been in vain. That's ministry. Anybody here this evening? Yes. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, give God some praise. Thank you. 
such a being to keep this word up, amen, know that there shall be a performance of faith of those things that have been spoken in the name of Jesus. Well, till we see you again, go and grow in the things of God, and we'll see you next time on Spiritual Empowerment for Success in Life. Go and grow in the things of God. See you next time. God bless you.